Apple is no doubt one of the most appealing electronic brands in the world and has cemented its position as a market leader in technologically advanced products that are results of years and billions of dollars put into research and development. They are quite infamous for their iPhones and sleek smart gadgets. However, it seems that the electronic company has finally decided to venture into the already competitive and crowded automobile industry. Rumors have long suggested that Apple is actively working on a variety of different automobile projects that could ultimately lead to the production of an Apple car. Does the tech giant have what it takes to be successful in the battery electric vehicle industry? The brand's precision and effort reflected in each product justify their late entry to many markets and product launches. And this is the same trend as seen in Apple's most anticipated product, the Apple Car. In February 2015, Apple board member Mickey Drexler stated that Apple co-founder and CEO Steve Jobs had plans to design and build an electric car and that discussions about the concept surfaced around the same time as Tesla debuted its first car in 2008. As of November 2015, former Apple iPad senior VP Tony Fadell confirmed that Steve Jobs was indeed interested in an Apple car way back in 2008, shortly after the original iPhone was introduced. The Apple electric car project, codenamed Titan, is expected to be one of the most technologically advanced cars ever made. The project was rumored to be approved by Apple CEO Tim Cook in late 2014 and assigned to Vice President Steve Zadesky, a former Ford engineer. For the project, Apple was rumored to have hired Johan Youngworth, former president and chief executive of Mercedes-Benz Research and Development North America, as well as at least one transmission engineer and in the time since, Apple has made some interesting partnerships and investments. The company gave $1 billion to Chinese Uber competitor Didi in 2016, which strengthened Apple's ties to the mobility industry and self-driving technology boom. Talent from BlackBerry, NASA, and even some Tesla former employees have been commissioned for the Project Titan, including Tesla's former autopilot, powertrain, mechanical and design engineers, and global supply chain managers. This certainly raised some eyebrows, and Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla Motors, called it a Tesla graveyard in 2015. The Wall Street Journal reported in September 2015 that the car would be a battery electric vehicle, initially lacking full autonomous driving capability with a possible unveiling by 2019. The car was expected to be delivered by 2019 or 2020, but towards the end of 2015, the program experienced an incredible failure of leadership in which the managers fought over where Project Titan was headed, and this led to the departure of project leader Steve Zadesky. The design and technology behind Project Titan remained very much in flux, with Apple considering at one point to use BMW's i3 as the basis for its Apple car. Apple is reported to be working on a new generation of electric batteries for their debut electric vehicle, and has also partnered with the Chinese contemporary Apian Tech company, and a lot of research and development is being put into these components, which is technically the whole powerhouse of the electric vehicle. A better battery can give Apple an edge over all its competitors, as range and charge are the most important aspect for any electric vehicle, as it's the first thing that is gauged by the market for any EV car. It is not entirely unexpected behavior from Apple that all the details about the upcoming project are kept sealed shut and no one from the outside seems to know anything for sure. They have always kept details of their electric gadgets classified and released them just before the actual release or at the launch event itself. Employees at Silicon Valley have even been made to sign non-disclosure agreements about the intellectual property related to the electric vehicle project. Apple investor Carl Ichan stated, however, that he believed the rumors that Apple would enter the automobile market by 2020 and logically, the Apple car would be viewed as the ultimate mobile device. Unlike the self-driving element, which is naturally in the public eye, the design effort of Apple has been kept under wraps for the most part. However, rumors speculate that it will be a fully featured self-driving electric vehicle that would compete with Tesla and other EVs. However, the news of the production and launch of the Apple car has been confirmed due to the solid evidence that Apple has already purchased domains apple.car Apple.cars, and Apple.auto. And although these websites are not online at the moment, they have been reserved by the company for their future endeavors on its electric vehicles. In 2016, CEO of Tesla Motors Elon Musk 
stated that Apple will probably make a compelling electric vehicle, and went further to state that it would be pretty hard trying to hide something if you've hired over a thousand engineers to do it. And of course, he was referring to the large scale of engineers Apple had contacted and hired for its project. One German report indicated that Apple had a secret car lab in Berlin, staffed by about 15 to 20 top class people from the German auto industry who were working on issues like the Apple car concept, manufacturing partnerships, and sales and governmental obstacles. In May 2016, Mansfield is said to have announced the new Titan strategy in a Silicon Valley auditorium packed with hundreds of Titan employees. He explained that after evaluation, he decided that Apple shouldn't compete directly with Tesla, which already has several electric cars in the market and is already working towards full self-driving systems. While initial reports pointed toward the creation of an entire Apple-designed vehicle, the Apple car, the rumors also indicated a change of focus for Apple, one that is pulled away from the grand design of a full automobile and on to just self-driving systems. The original vision of the Apple car would detect its driver's fingerprints and would then drive them anywhere, has transitioned from a partially autonomous car to something more ambitious. The Apple car is the most ambitious project for Apple, and this car would have a ton of technology with self-driving as its biggest feature. This means you can simply insert the location of your destination and the car would automatically provide a smart route for your destination depending on the current traffic, cost, and time. It also speculated that the Apple car is paying special attention to the vehicle's operating system because it has the potential to become the basic operating system in every car of the future. The vehicle is expected to have deep integration with iOS and the project has received its autonomous testing permit from the United States Department of Motor Vehicles. On April 14, 2017, the California Department of Motor Vehicles added Apple to the list of companies granted permission to test self-driving vehicles in the state. The autonomous self-driving permits allow Apple to take a self-driving car into public roads. As of January 2018, the state of California permitted Apple to have 27 self-driving cars running on public roads. And in April 2019, this number rose to 69 vehicles. There were also reports that Apple was meeting with self-driving car experts from the California Department of Motor Vehicles, and in August 2018, the BBC reported that Apple had a total of 69 road-registered driverless cars, with 111 drivers registered to operate those cars. The company may have discovered that auto part makers would be less eager to commit to an Apple car given the deeper expenses involved and with Apple likely producing the vehicles on a smaller scale. Apart from the rumors, which have even suggested that Apple is creating an electric van, the only real indications so far of Apple's design direction have been the patent applications. Based on patent findings, rumors, and speculations, the general appearance of the vehicle could offer some departures from the current vehicle designs as we know it. The use of wide swinging doors eliminates the need for a permanent center door pillar which makes the car opening even larger. Proposals include the use of AR and VR technology, in-screen displays, privacy lighting, and a unique sunroof design amongst other suggestions. The car could also feature a radical new battery design that would reduce cost and extend driving range. We don't quite know if the car would be packaged in a sedan, hatchback, or SUV. However, with the high demand for sedans because of its comfortability and spacious room, it could be speculated that Apple has enough reasons to opt for a sedan. The sunroof of the Apple car could also be included with AI to have automatic light control and to adapt to weather conditions. Its headlight system can detect and highlight road hazards for drivers and would have embedded sensors for a safer driving experience. The vehicle could have a selected anti-glare system for the windscreen, where you can select the areas where you want to adjust your reflection and light. This would protect the drivers from the sun providing a comfortable and convenient driving experience. Apple's analyst Ming-Ching Kuo proposed in August of 2018 that Apple will create a shipping consumer product under Project Titan by as early as 2023, with the car launch window stretching as far as into 2025. There were no indications as to how these dates were determined by Kuo, but he wrote that he expects Apple to take advantage of the tectonic shift in the automotive market by leveraging potentially huge replacement demands emerging in the sector due to the introduction of new technologies, Ming-Chi Kuo 
believes that Apple can take advantage of a car market that is ripe for change, in a similar way to how the smartphone market existed before the iPhone. The analyst also suggests that the vehicle could propel Apple towards a $2 trillion valuation. When Apple launched its iPhone, there were already several other companies making the smartphone, but Apple succeeded in making a product that was so unique it changed the industry for more than a decade. If Apple can do the same with its EV car, then it would be safe to assume that this too would also be a success. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to show your support. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new updates.